Jones, and he shoots, he scores! The regular season is over, the real fun begins. It took the final game of the season to clear up the Stanley Cup playoff picture. It all came down to last night's Dallas-Minnesota game. If the Stars had won, they would have squeezed into the last playoff spot in the Western Conference. But the Wild beat them 5-3, meaning the defending Stanley Cup champion Chicago Blackhawks were able to squeak in the back door even though they lost their final game. The only two Canadian teams in the playoffs this year, Vancouver Canucks and the Montreal Canadiens. And what we're going to do on sports for the next couple of days is go through each of the Canadian teams' series to come. The Bills breaking them down point by point. The keys of the game. So we're talking about uh, the Habs today facing off against Boston on Thursday. We talked about size and speed last hour. We're going to talk about spite and spirit this hour. Yeah, a lot of emotion. And frankly, these two teams hate each other. Let's put it that way. Yeah. But the Zidane Char, Max Pacioretty incident earlier this season really fueled the fire, didn't it? Uh, yeah. And emotion is so important. I mean, these two teams have played since then. They played once in Boston and Boston won 7-0. But emotion in the playoffs is so important. You need to play with a high level of emotion but you can't go over the top, right? There's such a fine line because when you go over the top, you start taking penalties, you start making mistakes. The mistakes in the playoffs are always magnified and it seems to cost you games. I, I really think the Montreal Canadiens are going to rally around that situation, the, the Max Pacioretty situation, but I don't think that's going to be their main focus. I think for the Montreal Canadiens, they're going to rally around the fact that, hey, people are counting them out once again, saying they're not going to be able to beat this big Bruins team. Uh, and that's going to be a situation, a better situation for them to rally around, better motivational factor, I think, which will keep them in check. I uh, should quickly mention Max Pacioretty uh, could start practicing full contact mid-April. That's a report. Really? Uh, good. Whether he does or not, that's up to the doctor. So we don't know yet, but that's good news if he does. Okay. I was paying particular attention there because I have to use that as I make my uh, pool choices, my picks in these playoff series. We have a big pool going on, and other people can join us this time. Yeah, we want you guys to join us. Maybe one of <laughs> us won't lose. We're tired of playing against each other. Yeah, maybe one of us won't lose this time. You go to <laughs> cbcsports.ca. Go to the username. Uh, we set up a group, CBC News Network Sports. The password is Heather, <laughs> and just make your picks. It's I as simple that. as that. There's Password great prizes. Heather. There's prizes. Great prizes. And once I saw that jacket, now I've got to really do some Look research. That. I Because I really want that jacket. Are we, we're eligible to win these jackets, right? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to check the fine print of the know, rules. But the most important thing is people watching are eligible to win that. Hats, jackets, bags. That's fabulous. Great stuff. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, this year, probably more unpredictable than years in the past. But it all gets started on Wednesday, by the way. Hockey night in Canada. Uh, and it starts with the Detroit Red Wings hosting the Phoenix Coyotes. That goes at 7 p.m. Eastern. And then at 10 p.m. Eastern, Heather mentioning the Stanley Cup champion, defending Stanley Cup champion, Chicago Blackhawks, facing the Vancouver Canucks. All right. We'll talk much more about that. Let's look back on the weekend, the event that came to an absolutely wild end. For a time there yesterday at Augusta, any number of players could have won the Masters. It was quite a finish. Yeah, it was a great finish. A great weekend for golf fans, and uh, it was a treat. That's, let's put it that way. The Masters had a fantastic finish on Sunday. The green jacket was up for grabs, and it was a South African who came home with a fancy new green blazer. Over to Augusta National, the final round started with flashes from Tiger Woods. Greatness from Tiger Woods. We see it once again here. Shot an amazing 31 on the front nine, but missed some key putts on the back nine. Too bad for Tiger there, but he finishes a solid fourth, tied for fourth. A wild finish to this one, like Heather mentioned, during the back nine. Eight players had at least a share of the lead, but it was a South African Charles Schwartzel who had shot a final round six under par 66 to capture the green jacket, the best closing round at the Masters in 22 years. The 26-year-old finishes two strokes ahead of Adam Scott and Jason Day. To Regina for the finals of the Ford World Curling Championship, Scotland ahead of Canada, three to one in the fifth end. Until this, Jeff Stout with the hammer and sitting one. Perfect weight on this one. Nice shot. Canada scores three and went on to win six to five. Stout's Manitoba rink went ten and one in the round robin as he claims his second world title. And that's your look at sports.